Hey, what's going on, man? Come on in. You ready to play? Hail Hunter! Welcome back to Hunting Life with Rude Kaiser, Road to Becoming the Kaiser, getting Kaiser Mail X. Today, we are accomplishing our HR 1 Urgent. Uh, I'm sure you can see that we're on HR 2 already. Uh, it's because I tried to do this earlier, but I got interrupted and Monster Hunter does not save. But you don't want to hear my excuses, you want to hear what I'm using today, and today we're using the Izuchi Hammer, smashing faces, taking on, what was the target, Miss Hinoa? Or is this the other one? You know, I'm really bad with twins. That's right, the Tetranodon. We're going to eat our usual, resupply, and head out. No reason to mince words this time. Alright, everybody, today we're using the Izuchi Hammer. Uh, we're using hammer today. No particular reason. I just like smashing monsters. Uh, KO is probably my favorite status. And oh, all these are free. No, like real no berries. I'm taking those. Uh, KO is probably my favorite status in all of Monster Hunter because it works on every creature. Um, the tin, the tin tetra tetranodon is over there. I guess I could warp, but I think it might be more prudent for us to grab all these little little buffers who knows what we'll need look at all this stuff nature's bounty even i'm going the wrong way ah there it is in all of its splendor well let's go get a closer look i suppose while capturing more mushrooms oh these are not worth a lot of points i thought these are worth way more points than 14. hello tin trent he's really tiny uh, so Tentranodon, here he is. Look at his beautiful boy. As you can see, he is based on the Japanese Kappa. If you didn't already know, Monster Hunter Rise is really big on its Japanese imagery. Uh, it currently doesn't have a roar. It's basically not even a real monster yet. I say yet because this thing is capable of changing forms. Let's see how long it takes for him to do it. Oh, no. It is also <laughs> wielding a command grab. Which apparently changes its form automatically. So there you go. Now it's big. Look at it. Isn't it cool? And because you change forms, I'm going to change forms. Oh, that was a big attack. That thing's going to do it again? Yes, he is. So he is a, a big danger area. Ooh, that was a clean KO. A big danger area directly in front of him and to the sides of him. Which are unfortunately the best places to hit him. And hit him we can as you can see we've already knocked him out and made him spit out the water he made he swallowed to get so big temporarily oh no and that attack is one of the ones i was talking about that you want to avoid standing to the sides of him but the best places to hit him are in front and inside and on the side of him because his uh as you can see his face is quite soft i think we already got the we already got the face break on him his arms are pretty soft too, although we did a great deal of damage to his backside. I think that was the damage of the attack. That was our, our raw kicking in. But his back is real hard, ow. Well, his tummy is nice and soft, but his back, I mean like his tail and his back legs. You don't want to rely on those. Oh, that was good damage, but okay, never mind. I was gonna say, but I'm, I might be in the, in the way. Fortunately, this game allows us to, to sharpen while on the move. So I don't even need to deal with his aqua attacks. I feel like most- oh, that's this is probably his best move, that body slam. That and the smelling salt attack. Uh, question today, what is smelling salts? I actually don't understand how that works and why it wakes you up, but it's super cool. Like the first time I ever heard it was like uh, Hariyama, which is also- Hariyama the Pokemon is also referenced to sumo. This dude is a lot of sumo references. Eh, that was not a good- that was not a good one. That was a bad one. That was too greedy. I got anti-aired. Uh, he has a lot of sumo references as he begins to eat again. And now he's... Oh, I forgot to change back forms. And now he's back to big... Okay. Well, see? Now that he's big, he has a real boy... A big boy roar. He's like a real monster sometimes. But only sometimes. 
Man, watching this big fat frog flop around makes me really miss Zamtrios. We'll never forget you, Zamtrios. All the monsters I like never come back. Shoutouts to you, Kurapeko. Well, we knocked him out again thanks to the cat's paralysis. Let's see if we can get an arm break this time. In fact, I should be doing the the tragic finisher. There we go. We got something broken. Let's see what else we can hit on him. Oh, we got it back to back to small, which means we got to transform back to our other form. Can I do the big bang in this version? The A combo? I guess he's about to... Oh, my lord! Where did the bear come from? Out of nowhere. With, from the top ropes, an Argeros. Hey, a shiny knacker. Oh, my lord. He's coming for me. I was scared. That was an A of, of fear. I was going to sharpen first. You know, compared to the Argeros, he's actually not that small. He just looked small from far away, I guess. Oh, here he goes. Oh, you think you can escape these claws of doom? Argeros basically has the same moveset as like Wolverine from NBC2. That's right, Berserker Barrage. And then we hit him with the finisher. What's your finishing move, Argeros? You were my enemy before, but now we are friends. Oh, it's just the Berserker Barrage again. That's cool. I mean, whatever. You are like the vanilla version of your kind. Back to smashing this thing's brains in. Uh, I was trying to get an arm break. Yeah, I like getting breaks. Breaks are probably... Uh, if if KOs are my favorite status, breaks are my second favorite status. I hope you leave soon so I can sharpen. That's not leaving. That is okay. Okay, we, we forced him to cancel that animation. Because that would have been bad for us. Because I was locked in. I mean, I, I say that, but then I continue to hit him. Are you leaving? Okay. Ooh, there's Let shinies on the ground. I was almost too excited to get up out of here. Look at all this good stuff we need for our Tintentrodon armor we're definitely not going to make. So as, we, as we've seen, you stay out of its danger zones. Or only stay in its danger zones for as long as you need to. You should be proper... Oh, that was scary. You should be proper, proper, proper... Okay, he should be proper, proper well taken care of. I got really scared of this thing, I'm sorry. Uh, fear is not good for this game, but respect is necessary, if that makes sense. The monsters are not, like, dangerous. Like, obviously they can cart you, but you get three carts. And most of the time, the only time you get carted is if you're, like, consistently making b bad decisions back to back. If you just stop take a moment breathe back away from the monster you're probably gonna be fine because it like like that's a very human trait we as humans have the the luxury of being like no nah, I can wait I, I can finish this hunt in like a day or two I can find you later and continue to chase you monsters can't do that they don't have that kind of forethought they weren't blessed by Prometheus like us they are just beasts ow with afterthought and afterthought alone Eaten? It's eaten. I'm so used to like Zenogers and eh, never mind. I was gonna say I'm so used to Zenogers and stuff when they change form, like an attack goes off right next to them. So him seeing him do that scares me, but I forget that he doesn't do anything. He's just a big stupid fish. Technically he's a duck. Oh my god, I did not think that's what he was doing. You know, sometimes you can get you can, sometimes you get command grabbed. That could have been me. Crushed under butt. Oh, it's just about to heal. Thank you, cat. Cats are the best. If I didn't need a dog to... I did not want to do that. If I didn't need a dog to sharpen on the move, I wouldn't have a dog. I would only have a cat. I mean, Palico and Palamut. Palamut. Okay. Like, Palico, Cat, and Mutt. I didn't deserve that. It was super unfair, but I did it anyway because I don't like this thing. That's what I'm talking about. Respect versus fear. Sometimes you just gotta disrespect them. Put them in their place. You gotta show them that you're the alpha here. You're the hunter. They are nothing but the data that deserves to get smashed into a billion bits. 
It is me who is worthy of honor and glory. Hit him with the wire bug finisher. Oh, with the poison, glorious. And, and my dog knocked the water out of him because I couldn't do it. There you go, that's teamwork. As I as I crap as I shit on my dog for being bad, he actually helps me defeat the thing. He he closes my combo out for me. Maybe I should just give my cat a more damaging weapon. I was really close to like I should not have done that near him. I was really close to not getting hit by that. He is not leaving, he's not transforming, or I continue to whop him in the face. That's basically what this game comes down to. <laughs> down to it's like playing a fighting game single player oh the punching bag is leaving um i'm thinking about warping but i don't think i need to i might have a wire bug over here no no i do not well i guess we're climbing i'll say regardless of what i picked i think i would have to climb i mean i could just put it here the counterpoint, I could just put it where it goes. That also is a good idea. There you go, brain. I'm proud of you. You're the best. Is it sleeping? Is it sleeping despite the Azuchi being right here? Uh, I don't I don't need the Azuchi. Alright, kids. Time to sleep bomb the target. Uh, we don't have the bomber skill active, so we have to waste our mega... No, you're right. I'm going to waste my Mega Barrel Bombs. I considered it. I'm like, no, we don't need to waste this thing on this stupid monster. Uh, we're going to do it the correct way this time. Which is by placing the bomb, the, the, let me get off him. The S Barrel Bomb, like, just about here. I hope. So that the, no, I, I blew it. Only one did double damage. So as you see, one of them did 300 because when they're asleep, I got to lock back on before I get killed. Because when they're asleep, uh, the first hit they take deals double damage. So in a sleep bomb, what you want is for both to do 300. So you need the S bomb to hit both simultaneously. So they both go off at the exact same time. But that's very hard and very technical to do. Please don't hurt me. So as you see, we messed up. But I will continue to try to do a proper sleep bomb because it's fun. I'll also continue to waste... Ooh, prime resources to do it. Here's hoping he doesn't do anything useful and just continues to get beat. Oh, that was wrong. He's absolutely fighting back. Oh, kind of. He's kind of fighting back. Don't touch me. He got the KO. I was hoping I would get the KO. See, as you can see right now, I'm getting a little greedy. I'm like wire bugging into him, which is not what you should do. Oh, that he read me like a book. Fortunately, the thing like ended just shy of where I was standing because he absolutely got me. Or he would have gotten me. Alright, so let's go back to our fundamentals. We do the full charge into the half charge into the, the rally. Ooh, get away from that. Get away from that, I said. Back to the half charge into the rally. If he interrupts it again, we go back to the full charge. Oh, we got the golf swing. See, what you want with the hammer is the golf swing. That, like, uppercut. Ooh. See? He, he telegraphs his attacks really well, so you kind of always know when he's going to do something dangerous. And again, his danger zones are always very clear. Very clearly defined. It, uh, clearly defined. They're right in front of him. It's like, you, you know where... So he was... Okay, he was, he was the, a tiny crown. I'm like, he looked small. So you always know where he's going to hurt you. So there's never a surprise when a Tintranodon smacks you upside the head or gets you in a command grab. You should always expect it. Or at least see it coming once he throws it out. Alright, we've completed another successful hunt. Uh, should we get a picture of this thing? We got a picture of the other one. Sure, why not? Let's get a picture of the, the Tintranodon. How do we... Let me just... Oh, hell yeah. Go team. Let me get the hammer in the shot. So we know what we so we know what we know got it with, what we beat it with. The armor we were using and how we got to this thing. That's beautiful. I'm, I might do that for each one. That was glorious. We had a great time. Uh, we're going to go, I guess, now wait till we go back to camp. All right, let's see what we won. Uh, nothing too special. I got a beak. 
like, like I said, I've already hunted this thing once, so... Oh, that's... That's glorious. Oh, uh, we already hunted this thing once, so it's not new items. But I was hoping we get something neat. Nothing, something special. Something unique. This has been Hunting Life with Kaiser. Next time, we're going to take on the HR2 Urgent, defeating whatever it is they ask of us to defeat. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Whatever weapon you want me to use, I'll be sure to at least consider it. If nothing else, I'll be using any weapon and every weapon I'm able to that are in the bracket of weapons I'm good at. So, if you'd like a refresher, these are them. Hope to see you all next time. Have a glorious day. And each of you remember that a noble soul embiggens another. <laughs>